uh, passed away at the age of 101 years old. William Eisen, uh, Paul Stanley's dad, 101 years old, passed away over the weekend. Condolences to Paul and his family on the passing of his father. His father, his mother and his father, if you went to KISS shows over the years, especially in the New York area, were quite a staple at the shows. You would often see them walking through the crowd. And if you were lucky enough to be backstage or in the hallways, you'd see them there as well. Uh, so Paul's dad passing away again at 101 years old, a hell of a run there. And I uh, wanted to mention that. Also, Dave Grohl, who's seemingly everywhere these days with various different things going on. Book came out, of course, latest Foo Fighters record, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And now the announcement today that there is a Foo Fighters themed horror movie that is coming out called Studio 666. And this is expected to be released theatrically in February of next year. And it was directed by Dave and features all the members of the Foo Fighters in it. And it is, I guess, loosely based on the true experience that the band had recording their Medicine at Midnight record in what they felt was a haunted mansion in Encino, California. So this is a feature length film that Dave did that I, I, my impression in reading about it is a little bit of like horror meets comedy kind of tongue in cheek, kind of fun. One of the things that, that I saw that Dave said in a quote about this is like, well, there really hasn't been anything like that since kiss meets the Phantom of the park. Not exactly sure if that's the selling point you want to use <laughs> as your benchmark for your movie, but I get the vibe of it and I get what he's talking about in terms of the comparison, but I'm assuming as much as I am a Kiss fan and remember that movie and it has a place in nostalgia, uh, not exactly the measuring stick for great rock based movies or rock band starring movies as kiss themselves would absolutely agree with but anyway that's something else to look forward to on the foo fighters front studio 666 february 25th is the release date directed by dave starring the foo fighters and it is the story of making a, 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 the loosely true story of making a record in what they felt was a haunted building and anything else I may have missed? Oh, yeah, and real quick on the Stones. So they did play over the weekend at Allegiant Stadium, and Mick Jagger has done what he's been doing in pretty much every city that the Stones tour lands in, and that is making uh, cameo appearances, or not cameo appearances, but unannounced appearances at various places in that city. There was that story, I think it was in North Carolina, where the Stones started their tour, where Mick, unannounced, under the radar, went into a local roadside bar and had a beer and sat out there, uh, surrounded by Stones fans who happened to be going to the show the next day, unrecognized. Because I've mentioned this before, if, you, if you're a super famous person, there are ways you can go out in the general public if you don't make a big scene. And throw on a pair of sunglasses, put a baseball cap on, you know, and keep a low profile. Don't have five goons around you and cameras trailing you and giant fleet of SUVs pulling up. And you could probably blend in. It's possible. I've seen it. I've been with artists who have done that. And Mick has, it's been a thing for Jagger on this tour, which I think is really cool for him to just get out and go to some of these things in these cities and just enjoy regular life. And, you know, you talk to an artist who has been on the road for a long time and probably nobody has toured longer than Mick Jagger. And they'll tell you something that's pretty interesting. They'll tell you that all of these places they go around the world, they rarely get to see an experience because it's plane or bus to the hotel bus or limo to the gig in the tunnel of the gig to the stage off the stage back to the hotel or the plane onto the next city 
Remember when Getty Lee was on with us a couple years ago, and I said, what have you been doing now that Rush is not happening anymore? And he said, I've been doing a lot of traveling. And I said, my God, I would think after like 45 years, the last thing you'd want to do is leave your house. He said, no. And all the years got to actually see the cities that we were playing because it was always the gig next to the, to, to the next city. So if you think about it, and I don't know Mick Jagger, and I have no idea if this is in his head, but I was starting to think about it a little bit, saying to myself, you know, you got a guy here who is, let's be honest, in the twilight of his life in terms of just years. Now, he could live another 25 years easily, the shape that guy's in. But, you know, later in life, without a doubt, nobody could argue that, right? And he's had this remarkable life and this remarkable career. And he may very well be in a place right now mentally, and I'm just speculating and saying, you know what? I, I may not be able to, I might not. This may be the last tour. There's a lot of people speculating this could be the last Stones tour. And we've been hearing that for 20, 30 years. I get it, but who knows? Maybe it is. And he might be saying this is like last chance going through some of these places with the band. I'm going to get out and see him. That, that's what I take from him. And I, again, I don't know him at all. And I just pure speculation. But knowing what I know about touring musicians and how they're wired and how they get to so infrequently enjoy the places they're in and actually see them, it feels like there's a little bit of that going on with this. And when the Stones played Vegas over the weekend, if you follow social media, because that's how you find out Mick is getting out there doing this stuff, Mick went to the Neon Museum. Nick, Mick went to a couple places on the Strip. I mean, can you imagine you're in the, you're hanging out in Vegas over the weekend and, you know, look across the blackjack tables. That look, that look kind of looks like Mick Jagger and it actually is. Now look, I guarantee you within 10 feet, there's probably also totally strapped security guys. If somebody got out of line or did recognize them or did make a scene that'll pull them out of there before you could blink. But it is still pretty cool. But And I'll tell you this, which supports what I just said. So I, I really had planned on going to see the Stones in Vegas this weekend. But instead, I sent my wife because she is also a huge Stones fan, probably bigger than I am even. And she never gets to do anything or go anywhere. And as you know, listening to me, I'm everywhere constantly for work. So. I stayed home with the kids. She went, loved the show, had a great, great time. And uh, everybody I talked to who went to the show, and I have a lot of friends there that all went and said it was amazing. And it killed me to not go because there is that thing looming like, is this the last time? Who knows?